Hey guys, it's the Laptop here, back again with another episode of Abandoned, Season 1, Episode 9. Today we are looking at Video Easy, the major video rental store in Australia. Without much further ado, let's get straight into it. Video Easy first started operation in 1983, when Kevin Slater opened the first store in the Sydney suburb of Hurstville. Using similar tactics to fast food restaurants, Slater expanded Video Easy's profile through franchising. To attract investors, Slater funded 50% of the capital required to open a prospective Video Easy franchise. A year later, the first Video Easy franchise opened in Miranda. Quickly after, three more franchises followed suit. Only three years after Slater started this business, Video Easy had grown to 18 stores in New South Wales. The following year, that count had nearly doubled as the business expanded interstate to Queensland. The business expanded further in the Australian mainland, before commencing international expansion starting with New Zealand in 1988. With a true rise to popularity of the video rental store beginning in the early 90s, Video Easy rapidly expanded in these two markets to hundreds of stores. With the company's franchise based model, it allowed prospective business owners to own their own retail store without substantial capital. In the early 90s, Blockbuster entered the Australian market for the first time, which brought Video Easy some serious competition. This reduced the company's market share just a little bit. In the mid 90s, Video Easy also considered further international expansion, which was finally realised in the 1990s as the company expanded into the Asian market, with its first store opening in Bangkok in 1999. In 2001, this expansion continued with the company opening its first store in Singapore. In the next four years, the company would expand to Indonesia, Malaysia, Fiji and the United Arab Emirates. In August 2005, business partners Paul Uniac and Edwin Bidelko, who between them owned 24 Video Easy franchises in Victoria, purchased a majority stake in the Video Easy company and took over the leadership of the business. At that point in time, Video Easy branded outlets were as follows. 560 in Australia, 156 in New Zealand, 128 in Thailand, 135 in Indonesia, 19 in Singapore, 9 in Malaysia, 1 in Fiji, and 1 in the United Arab Emirates. With Blockbuster struggling and wanting to focus on its home American market, it sought to sell off its Australian operations. These would be sold to Video Easy, who bought Blockbuster's Australian operations in February 2007, which pushed its store count in Australia to nearly 900 stores in total including the 370 Blockbuster stores acquired. Due to a pre-existing licensing deal with Blockbuster at the time of the acquisition, the Video Easy company had to rename itself to Franchise Entertainment Group, and these former Blockbuster locations would operate as Blockbuster for the remainder of their lifetime. However, this would all go downhill from there. In fact, the video rental market had already passed the point of going downhill, even in 2007. In the next four years, a third of Video Easy's Australian stores would close down, due to competition from digital services such as iTunes and internet piracy, quickly loosening Video Easy's grip on the home video market. The company was already well aware of this, and was finding new ways to make its business relevant. In January 2009, Franchise Entertainment Group bought failed video retail chain Easy DVD from receivership for an estimated $10 million to expand its video rental footprint into malls. This consisted of 36 stores. FEG CEO Uniac said to the media after the deal, We don't have video rental stores in high traffic areas such as the major malls, because you can't rent a DVD and the next day just easily park a car and return to it. The easy DVD stores are all in the major mall chains, and this cements us well and truly in the market. In early 2011, the company announced a new long term strategy. For the first time, the company acknowledged that the physical stores were not their future as Video Easy announced a rollout of Video Easy Express, a DVD and Blu-ray rental kiosk that could be hired by any business if they wanted to make money in home video rental. Franchise Entertainment Group bought 1,000 DVD kiosks for $2 million, with Uniac saying that, we're looking to get to 3,000 within three years. I'm looking to own the market within a two year period. In December of that year, the first Video Easy Express was switched on, marking the official launch of the future of the company. For the physical stores, the future was looking much bleaker. Now the company had all but washed their hands of this form of business. There were no plans to extend Video Easy's physical store count any further. Video Easy stores closed down on a frequent basis, as franchisees decided when it was time to close the curtain on their Video Easy store. 
But there was a clear decline of these stores over time, as internet piracy became more popular due to the absence of streaming services. By 2015, Netflix expanding to Australia was the final death knell for many of these stores, although at that point, video stores were already a rarity. Australian Bureau of Statistics figures from 2000 stated that there were 1,166 individual video hire businesses operating within Australia. Just over a decade later, in a 2013 Ibis World study, it found that just 255 DVD rental businesses were still operating in the country, a drop of almost 80%. The same study found that video rental businesses had declined at an annual rate of 14.8% over the 5 years to 2013. Since then, not much has happened. Video Easy Express kiosks are being sold at a slow rate. The physical operations started to wind down. As of right now, the company is almost dead in its video rental store form. The last store in Canada closed in 2017. The last stores in New Zealand closed in November 2018 marking the end of its international operations after 30 years. The very last Video Easy in Sydney closed its doors at the end of March 2019, concluding over 35 years of operations. As of this video being uploaded, there are, at maximum, half a dozen Video Easy stores known to exist. This number is estimated, and could be even lower, as stores are still closing as times go on, such as the former blockbuster in Morley WA which was the second last blockbuster in the world, closing in March 2019. Eventually, Video Easy will completely disappear as a company, as the final franchises close their doors. I'll give it a year until the time the last Video Easy stores. It's honestly not that far away. So what happened? How did Video Easy collapse to the point that it has just about disappeared? The old adage of the video rental store is told nearly on a daily basis these days. The reason video stores have gone the way they have is because of technology. It's been repeated many, many times, and it is almost common knowledge at this point. Video Easy was no different. Technological advances in the industry, namely the emergence of Netflix, effectively killed off the entire business model of traditional video stores. The existing companies competing in the industry did very little to respond to these technological advances. Video Easy does not run streaming services at all. In fact, the parent company's business model is still entirely dependent on physical media. Video Easy tried to compete with Netflix by introducing kiosks. These were basically vending machines that dispensed physical movies, which negated the need to set up a physical shop. These were very common from 2011, and in the years the kiosk system was rolled out, it became clear that this was the company's focus, and it essentially all but washed their hands of the physical stores. While these are relatively profitable now, I expect the kiosks won't last too much longer. These will eventually bite the dust, as DVD and Blu-ray physical media are both being quickly supplanted by digital downloads and online streaming. Today, Video Easy stores, as well as video rental stores in general, are commonly seen as time capsules, a gimmick for people to make visits to for nostalgia reasons. It's a shock how some of these businesses still operate to this day in areas dominated by high rent costs. Their patronage is near non-existent and will eventually disappear completely in just a few months as more and more people adopt Netflix. There are so few video easies left in Australia that only that many people know the company still exists in this form. But in a few months from this video being uploaded, these two will bite the dust. The model itself is outdated. It was doomed to fail right from the emergence of the internet, and when internet-based businesses began operations in the late 1990s, it slowly ate away at market share until there was little left. Online streaming was only the final nail in the coffin. As you may come to expect, with hundreds of video easies around Australia in the mid-2000s, it is no surprise to know that there are plenty of old stores which sit there abandoned, with no future in sight. Many of them have obtained new tenants, but some stores have traces of their previous lives as a video easy or blockbuster. One of the biggest what ifs in corporate history involves the home video rental industry. For those that didn't know, Blockbuster had the opportunity to buy Netflix for just $50 million in 2000. However, the company laughed at the prospect of buying Netflix and refused the offer. Now one can imagine what would have happened if Blockbuster bought Netflix. In all, Video Easy's on its last legs. If you want to experience what it was like to rent a movie in 2006, 
I suggest visiting one of the last video easies or other video rental stores right now and being able to experience that as there is very little time left before being able to get that experience goes away for good. Technology won't wait to kill the last of these stores. In general, this kind of experience is just about to disappear and may not even survive this decade. So get to know it while you still can. So that's the story of Video Easy, a product of its time that struggled to adapt to technology innovations and ultimately disappeared into the void of the past as little more than a memory to the ones that got to experience it during its lifetime. The choice is easy. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you're new to this channel and missed out on the last video, check out the previous video here. If you like my content and want to see more, like, comment and press the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. I also have a Twitter and Twitch channel. If you'd like to check them out, the links to them are in the description.